Hi. You know, like most people, I love L.A. It's got a little bit of everything. But there is somewhere else I like to be when I'm not here. It's a place as bizarre as it is beautiful, where things are never quite the way you'd expect them to be, where you can swim in the ocean with huge cod only inches away, a place with lush prehistoric rainforests with sunshine virtually all year round. It's at least four times the size of Texas, but with less people than we have in this city alone. And it contains more untouched wilderness than anywhere in the world. Yet it has a nightlife that equals everything we have here. It's called Northern Australia, and it's like nowhere else on Earth. G'day. How you going? Welcome to Australia. Well, I suppose you're wondering what I'm up to. Well, I happen to be sitting on one of the largest populations in the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Right down here, there's over 2,000 kilometres of housing, and it never stops growing. The building goes on night and day, year in, year out. It's the most fascinating construction you'll ever see. It's called the Great Barrier Reef. It's home to an abundance of marine life that can only be described as awe-inspiring. And I'm here to tell you they're the friendliest bunch I've ever come across. So why don't you come on down under and I'll introduce you. socks off, doesn't it? Divers from all over the world come to see this reef, but if diving isn't your cup of tea, you can always see it from the comfort of one of our submersibles. Reef walking is extremely popular, but it's not a bad idea to wear something on your feet. Charter boats operate all year round from both the islands and the mainland, and the locals know the place backwards. They can hardly wait to show you the best spots on the reef. If this place doesn't put you in seventh heaven, nothing will.
you can manage to take your eyes off the coral for a minute or two, you'll see tropical islands sitting right on top of the reef that would make Robinson Crusoe's mouth water. From exclusive Lizard Island right at the top of the Great Barrier Reef, to Morton Island at the other end, you've got your classic picture of sun-soaked, palm fringe hideaway surrounded by endless stretches of calm blue water. There's accommodation to suit all tastes, from tiny bungalows tucked away in the trees to five-star resorts like this. They've got everything that opens and shuts, and it won't cost the earth to stay here. Oh, thanks, mate. Hard to take, huh? It's a holiday without a climb. Oh. 
Now this is the Sunshine Coast. Now if you think this beach is big, you should see what the locals do for a living. The ground around here is so fertile that if you stand still long enough, you'll grow a couple inches. And the folks hereabouts are only too happy to show you about. Oh, and there are plenty of tour operators to show you about as well. If you like, you can hire yourself a four-wheel drive vehicle and go and discover it all for yourself. Coast is another place that's worth a Captain Cook. Oh look, there's a slightly different pace to up here. In fact, it's about as different as chalk and cheese. It's about two hours in this direction and it's called the Gold Coast. I'll see you there. Well, here we are on the Gold Coast. It's sort of like Miami without the vice. And this is what people do around here all day. But if you reckon you might be putting a bit too much strain on the old spine, you can always get up and go and have a bit of fun.
can't take much more of this. Come on, I'll show you a nice bit of shade. There's nothing like a stroll in a rainforest. And like everything else in Northern Australia, it's pretty damn unique. It's like having a, a jungle in your own backyard full of extraordinary plants and animals. And there are plenty of great trails and you don't have to be a boy scout to work it out. You can explore on foot or on horseback or you might prefer a nice quiet trip on the river. I promise you a contrast like nothing else on this earth. And we're definitely not going to disappoint you. Well, I don't know about you, Mob, but after galloping all around the country, I'm as dry as the Simpson Desert. So come and have a stubby and say good day to me, mate. I'd like us to meet a mate of mine, Buck. Say good day, Buck. Good day, how you doing? Stubby a forex, please, bitch. Sorry, mate. Well, how are they treating you? 
pretty good thing, too. In the good old U.S. of A., they call this a bar. But in the land of Oz, it's the pub. It's a big country out here, and these blokes work long and hard, and sometimes miles from anywhere, except a pub. There's always a pub, the Aussie Oasis. The people of the outback work hard and play hard. And the song and dance is never far away. He's looking at you. Emerald Green Waters of Catherine Gorge. Carved through sandstone by the Catherine River. You can hang around here for a couple of hours or you can go further up to the higher gorges in the tribal lands if you like. They can bring you up here by power boat or if you're feeling fit you can paddle up in a canoe. I'd like you to say good day to Greg. He's the bloke who runs the canoes around here. Say good day, Greg. Good day. Good day, John. How are you, mate? Oh, not too bad, thanks. How long can you take the canoes out for, mate? Oh, any time, from one hour, or to all day. Or if you're really keen, you can go right up through the 13 gorges. It takes two to three days. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, 
It wouldn't be too good if you're 104, would it? Really, it's pretty rugged up the other end there, isn't it? Oh, no. The more adventurous type go up overnight, camp up, up, up in the gorges, some beautiful sunrises and beautiful sunsets. What was that then, mate? Well, it's the good old Australian crow. Yeah, it's a good old call, isn't it? Yeah. The Aborigines yeah. used to run this place before we turned up, didn't they? Yeah, there was nomadic tribes that used to roam through this area. There's a great gallery of caves over the back there, isn't there? Quite a number of paintings over there, yeah. Mm. What, what, do you, what do you like most about the gorge yourself, mate? In a canoe, the peacefulness. And then just the natural beauty of the gorge as it is now. That all that whirring and something of motors. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a way to go, isn't it? It really is. Primitive as that. Uh, all get out. used to make good use of the fruit of the pandanus. Is that right? Really, what do they taste like, man? Terrible. Freshwater crocodile is completely harmless, unlike its cousin, the saltwater croc. So you can go for a swim any time you like. In fact, it's pretty essential around here. See you later. Yo, wait, you take! Fantastic! And you can drink it. Kakadu National Park, pronounced Gagadju by the Aborigine people. It means their lingo, their language. This is their place. They've leased it back to the national parks and wildlife. This is Kakadu. Knockout, eh?
the Nalangi rock paintings. The galleries of rock art in Kakadu are reputed to be the best in the country. They tell the stories of these ancient people. They've been here for 40,000 years. The oldest race on earth and the oldest country on earth. Their mates are mine. I learn a lot from them. There's a lot of water in Northern Australia and you'll find yourself on a boat more times than you can count. We're floating around on yellow water, chock-a-block full of wildlife. Top of the bill is a saltwater crocodile, largest reptile in the world. He's been here since a dinosaur age. Hell of a lot longer than we have.
ancient cave paintings, sacred sites, natural sculpture carved from millions of rainstorms on a single rock that takes you all day to walk around and an hour to walk to the top. And today is extremely rare and special for us. We're in the desert and it's raining on the rock. The most massive, magical, spiritual rock on the face of this planet. For 60 million years, this rock has been looking peacefully out over the desert. The Aborigines call it Uluru. They've been looking after it for thousands of years. To the Aborigines, this is sacred. It's their cathedral, if you like. When you get here, you'll realize why. The majesty of the place will overwhelm you. You probably know it as Ayers Rock. The blood red rock, the heart of Australia. Now let's have a look at it in its most familiar light. This is the bit you didn't see while you were looking at the rock, Yalara. It's so tucked away here you'd hardly know it existed, but it's one hell of a five-star hotel, or two hotels actually, oh, and a, a camping ground if you're interested. It's just the thing you need when you're right in the middle of the desert. Those big red domes are the Olgas, a close relation to Ayers Rock, and they're just down the road. We're in Darwin, capital of the Northern Territory. When you want a beer in Australia, you usually drink it out of a stubby. Now this is fair dinkum, I wouldn't have a go at you. There's a Brahmin bull at the Humpty Doo pub just down the road. We can drink a stubby in 40 seconds. A Darwin stubby. While we're on the subject of capital cities, let's have a bow peep at Brisbane, capital of Queensland. Queensland has three international airports, Townsville, Cairns and Brisbane. So take your pick. But there's more going on here in Brisbane than you can poke a stick at. Just a thing for cruising around Brisbane. Well, most of it anyway. A city built in the river certainly has its advantages. 
As you can see, the city is a delightful blend of older style buildings and modern skyscrapers. There's a lot happening here at the moment, not the least of which is the construction of World Expo 88, the first World Exposition to be held in the Southern Hemisphere this century. There'll be more than 60 nations and international corporations participating in this event to celebrate Australia's bicentennial. On a 40 hectare site right in the heart of Brisbane, you'll be treated to a six month extravaganza of entertainment and cultural highlights. The people here are putting loads of time and effort towards the theme leisure in the age of technology, which is actually a great way of summing up Brisbane. would you? And we've only shown you a small slice of Northern Australia. It'd take a, a month of Sundays to show you the rest. The best way to get a better idea is to simply come down any time you like and say good day for yourself. We'll see you later. Well, I'm going for a swim. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I'd never seen anything like it before. And unless I go back there, I probably won't see anything like it again. The thing is, it's remarkably easy to get to and a whole lot cheaper than you'd possibly imagine. So why don't you go down and say good day to Northern Australia before the rest of the world discovers what it's missing out on? See you down under. <laughs>